Hey, it's Rex. Rex come back alive? Rex have many sidekicks now. Quite the little celebrity, aren't we? Well, you know, I've been trading here for a while. Anyway, I'll find us a ride to the Empire. You guys go on ahead to the inn. Sounds good. See you around then. Right, so it looks like we're heading out tomorrow. Everyone, make sure you're ready by then. Understood. Affirmative. The tea here is lovely. You can find quality goods here from all around, Allrist. You like the place? Yes. If there's time before we leave. I think I'll have another cup later. Mmm. <sighs> Feels so good to rest in a proper inn after a long voyage. Yeah, it's good to be on familiar shores again. Room, see? Huh? I can't believe it. I did it again. I am such an idiot. Hmm. Is this what they call sleepwalking? You were staring. Huh? Pervert. Whoa, 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 whoa! She's certainly exposing an awful lot of skin. Pot, meat kettle. Would you care to explain what that is supposed to mean, my good sir? Have you looked in a mirror recently? Hi, Pyra. Oh, good morning. Listen, about earlier... I'm sorry about Mithra. She gets very confused when she's just woken up. Oh, I see. It didn't get violent, did it? No, I didn't do anything weird. Not a thing. No, it was more Mithra I was worrying about. Oh, right. <laughs> I guess she did throw a thing or two. Oh. oh no. So that was where that came from. I'm sorry. Did it hurt a lot? No, not at all. Really, I'm fine. Are you sure? Honestly, my head is still a little painful. Ah, to be young again. Indeed. 
Indeed. We need a little romance in our lives, too, eh? Actually, I'm quite all right. Aegeon. Yes. I have returned from my assignment, Your Majesty. Welcome back, Morag. You too, Bridget. I'm honored. It is good to see you again, Bridget. You look well, too, Ijean. So this Aegis truly was the genuine article? Indeed. And the boy? From his garments, he appeared to be a young salvager. I would be most interested in meeting him. That can be arranged. We have received reports of an attack on a ship headed for the Praetorium. A transport vessel? Yes, carrying a cargo of core crystals. Core crystals? Torna's work then? Most likely. According to a lucky survivor, the culprit was a masked man. Jin. It must have been him. This is the third time. From what I hear, Orion vessels have also suffered significant damage. My sincere apologies. This is all my fault, Your Majesty. I let that Torna girl off lightly. I should have interrogated her more. You set the captive loose because you felt it necessary, did you not? That is enough for me. Besides which, if this really is the doing of that masked man, I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. We have more pressing issues to consider. Such as? The Senate have independently resumed the excavation of Judicium. The pro-war faction, Senator Roderick. The loss of those core crystals must have made them restless. Judicium is a very delicate region. It would be unwise to provoke Uriah. I understand your meaning. If the Senate make any unsavory moves, we can take action. I'm counting on you, dear sister. This light, what is it? Rock's core crystal. It was like a stone. What happened? Don't you remember, Rex? Vanham told you. Core crystals don't die. They always regenerate after a while. Regenerate? Ready to be reawakened by a new driver. So, 
If I resonated with it now... Then a new rock would be born into this world. A new rock? Vandam's blade. What do? I'm not sure. Taking Vandam's old partner. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, but maybe he would have wanted you to do it. Just do whatever. Right. Probably time we headed for the ship, right? Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and register us for boarding. Nia, do we really need to rush? Sure, we could take our time and miss out on the good seats. Oops. Ow. What was that kid's problem? Rex, your bag! Huh? No. No. No! What have you lost now? Rock's core crystal. It's not here. You mean the little blighter? After him, at once! Titan's foot! That little thief looked pretty young, right? Yeah. And those ears. Gormotti for sure. So let's see. There, that's the brat. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Why, that little... He stole the old ship. What now? Let's go. Are there any other... There's one! Garum! Hey, Rex! What's the big hurry? Let me a boat! What? I mean, sure, but why? There was a pickpocket. Took our core crystal. Over there! Over there? Hold it! Bring that ship back here! Why, that's Pittman's ship! Your thief's on board that thing! Please! All right, then. The key's in the slot, so you can take her right out! Thanks. I'll bring her back as soon as I can. No worries. Go get him, Rex. Ship. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is where he got off. He may still be somewhere nearby. Right, then let's ask around and see what we can find. Good plan. If we're on the right track, he should be around you, yeah? Thief using Umon's workshop as hideout! I never dream of such a thing! That's him. Let's surround them so he can't run. Gotcha. Ah, oh, you lot. Kid, you sure led us on a merry chase. You've wasted a lot of our time, you know. Damn it. Look at you. 
You're only kids. Why don't you just give back what you took? We'd rather not hurt you or anything. You're basically a kid yourself. Oi, I'll have you know I work for a living. Right, hand it over. N no, you're not having it. <whistles> the core crystal is ours now. If you want it so bad, you'll have to take it by force. Well, nothing for it, I guess. All right, let's go. Well, we took it by force. Just like you wanted us to. <sighs> Titan's foot. You're all barely ten years old. Why are you stealing from people? <clears throat> Look, keeping your traps shut won't help anyone. My lady, be a little more gentle. Why? They're only petty thieves. Be that as it may, they are still children. Look, I'm sure there's a reason you're doing all this. Are you just that hard up? What do you take us for? We're not some poor beggars. OK. So it's not money you're after? Then what the hell is it they want? You should just tell everything. Rex Rex not hurt you. <sighs> Come on. We want revenge. Revenge? We're gonna avenge our village. You don't mean you were planning to awaken this blade and use it? Well, why don't you tell us the whole story? We might be able to help. Bandits attacked your village? It was just a small, peaceful village. But the bad men... Just because we had water, they... Did anyone survive? Don't tell me. You're the only ones? What's your name? Me? Why do you want to know? Please, kid. It's Reese. From Cordell Village. Cordell Village? Can't say a word of it. It's just a tiny village on the outskirts of Gormot. Not many people know it. Okay, Reese. I get why you did this. But still, it's not right to steal from people. Besides which, awakening a blade is dangerous. Do you know what happens if it fails? You never know until you try. Long as one of us manages it, that's all that matters. Sounds like you really were desperate, my boy. I assume you know the whereabouts of these bandits? There's a big cave over on Twin Trunks Hill. They use it as a hideout. Oh, Reese, it's awful! Those scum are gonna... <gasps> Who are they? Don't worry about them. What's the matter? Right. Okay. The bandits are planning to attack Turrigoth. Are you sure? Yeah. We overheard one of their men talking about it in the city just now. And it was definitely one of them. It looked like they were scouting the place out. They were saying, with the console gone, now's the perfect chance to take advantage. A shrewd observation. This would indeed be the perfect time to mount an attack. Are you trying to tell me that idiot console was actually good for something? 
So, this all our fault? Well... Yeah. I guess we might have been the trigger. We can't sit by and let this happen. Agreed. Right. You lot, you can leave those nasty bandits to us. What? I swear, we'll avenge your village. But... Don't worry. By the way, name's Rex. Reese, take the others and go warn the city guard. Warn them about the bandits? Nah, they probably wouldn't believe you if you said bandits were coming. So tell them about us instead. Tell them the guys who destroyed the water tower are hiding out at Twin Trunks Hill. If you say so, but why? Don't worry, you'll see. We're counting on you, okay? Okay. What the...? Well, this is quite the unhelpful obstruction. Hey, isn't this the same as that thing we saw in the blowhole with Van Damme? Indeed. It seems to be the same phenomenon. In that case... Yeah. We just need a little help from Rock. Vandam, mate, hope this is okay. Rex? All right! You really did it! Rock. So, you are my new driver. Bit of a scrawny one, if you ask me. But, oh well, it's good to meet you. Um, hmm. He talks kind of like Van Damme, eh? Van Damme? Who is that? Oh, right. You wouldn't remember since you've been reawakened now. He was your old driver. My old driver? Ah, so my core was passed down to you. We could have stolen it. I didn't sense any guilt in your words. Hmm, you're a perceptive one, all right. Yes, you take after your old master in more ways than one. Listen, Rock, we need your help. Reckon you could clear the way for us? This stuff? Of course. Nothing simpler. Wow! That hardly took any time at all. Hm. <laughs> I did say it was a simple task. Thanks a bunch, Rock. 
Rock? Tell me something. My previous driver. You mean Van Damme? Yes, this Van Damme. What kind of a man was he? He was incredibly strong. He looked kind of scary, but he was kind, too. And he saved my life. It's thanks to Van Damme that we're all standing here now. I see. Then I think I'd better protect you all, too. Huh? To carry on my driver's will as best I can. That's the path I feel best befits a blade. Oh, Rock. So what's the plan? Looks like there's quite a few of them. And they have blades, too. No time for complicated plans. Don't worry. There'll be no match for us. I knew you'd say that. But hey, I'm not saying you're wrong. Just remember, we're not here to kill anyone. So mind you don't go overboard. Was Rex Rex not going to Avenge Village? There's more than one way to do that. Right? Well, if you say so. Understood. Right. Let's go! All of you, put down your weapons! You're not gonna harm that city! Who the hell are you punks? We ain't got time for a bunch of kids! Hold it! They're drivers and blades! Now I get it. The city hired you, huh? What do you think? <laughs> How'd you find out about... Whatever. Hey, lads! Let's slaughter these brats! We'll make an example of them! Yeah! yeah! <sighs> well, we managed to beat them, all right. But what now? Ah, right on time. Oh, I get it. That's why you asked the kids to call them you. It isn't us they need to answer to. Right? Leaving them to the authorities. A wise decision. I suppose we should probably leave then. It's not a good idea to be here when the military arrives. Let's go. Yeah, let's move. So you see, considering the situation, could you let them off the hook? Hmm. I'd hate to deny a request from you, Rex. And I can see these kids have had a hard time. What do you think? Well, I suppose I did get my ship back safe and sound. Hey, how about this? Make them work for the Guild, and get them to work off what they owe that way. What? These brats! Are you saying we should make salvagers of them? I think they show a lot of promise. They've got pretty quick fingers, right? Come on, you know it makes sense. They're poor little orphans with nowhere to go. Are you really just gonna turn them away? You sure know how to twist a guy's arm. All right, I'll do it. I'll sort out the details with Papunin. But 
It's just bed and board for now. Got that? If you want paying, you prove yourselves first. You hear that? I hope you don't mind. Wow. Right then, work hard, you rascals! <laughs>